This week on Granite State Challenge, the Green Wave of Dover High School take on the Bobcats of Plymouth Regional High School. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire. Safety Insurance. New Hampshire Lottery. Heinemann Publishing. Cognia. HRCU, Manchester Community College, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready. It's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high-stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us again this week on Granite State Challenge. We are halfway through our opening round. Four teams have already made it to the semifinals, and we've got two teams here this week to do battle to see who's going to take that next spot. Let's introduce them to you, shall we? First up, we start with the Green Wave of Dover High School. They're led by senior Captain Ryan and is a big fan of political satire. How'd you get into that? Oh, well, um, my mom used to put it on the TV, so I just watch it with her. Gotcha. And what is it about political satire you like so much? Oh, I like it because um, it makes really complicated uh, topics more accessible for a mainstream audience. That's perfect. Excellent. He's joined by Will, a senior, who now plays a, a pretty interesting and unusual sport for around here. What is it? Rugby. How'd you get into rugby? Uh, a friend of mine, he, uh, he said uh, he knew somebody who was going to coach rugby and it's a local uh, Seacoast regional team that he's put together. And, uh, awesome. And what position do you play? Hooker. Play the hooker. Of course. He's joined by Jacob, who's a junior. He's a big fan of concerts. Any favorites? Any good ones you've been to recently? Absolutely pink. Yeah, what was it about that concert Just you liked so much? Such a great show. Incredible. All right. Incredible. Excellent. And of course, he's joined by Christian, who's a junior who's been to how many countries? Uh, more than 20. More than 20 countries. What's the farthest country you've been to? Farthest uh, from here? Australia. Probably Australia. What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Uh, does the U.S. count? Yes, it does. The good old <laughs> USA does count. The team is coached by Eric Salmonson and Timothy Elliott. Their alternate is Lauren, and they are the green wave of Dover High School. All right, let's introduce them to their opponents. They are the Bobcats of Plymouth Regional High School, and they are the returning champions from last season. They're joined by, or they're led by Captain Reese, who's a senior. And Reese, your team is doing something, sort of a, a theme today, and what is that theme? Uh, so our theme is that most of us have worn special socks. Most of you. Yeah. Who's the one not wearing special socks? That would be me. Did you not get the memo or do you not have the special uh, socks? I did not get the memo, but I like to think that my plain white socks are special just because they're not special. That, that's true. I'll, I'll buy that. All right, he's joined by uh, Michael, who's a senior, and tell us about your socks. Uh, I'm wearing pink breast cancer awareness socks. Okay, uh, how come? Uh, I think it's a great cause. I know some people who uh, have relatives who have had breast cancer, and when I bought them, money went to uh, breast cancer research. Perfect. Excellent. Now we turn to Mason, who's a junior, and I think you're probably the biggest sock aficionado on the team. Is that correct? It sure is. How many pairs of socks do you own? I own 50 pairs of socks. Okay, and what are you wearing today? I'm wearing uh, painting socks with a little girl holding a string. Okay. All right, excellent. Some artistic socks. And finally, the team is rounded out by senior Rihanna. And what's on your socks? Uh, my socks have chickens on them. And they're your lucky chicken socks? Yes. Yes, they give you good luck? Mm-hmm. Excellent. All right. Their team is coached by Jay Fogarty, wearing Frank Lloyd Wright socks. And the alternates are Ben, wearing Starry Night socks, and Eric, wearing socks with dinosaurs on trucks. And they are the Bobcats of Plymouth Regional High School. And one more final introduction for you this week, and that is, of course, our judges. Back with us again this week are Ann Belanger and Jim Johnston. All right, teams, introductions are out of the way. We're going to jump right into the game. As you know, Granite State Challenge is played in four rounds, and in round one, we do 10-point toss-up questions. So, for 10 points each, Dover, Plymouth, good luck. Here we go. What did 16-year-old Sybil Ludington do on the night of April 26, 1777 in New York and Connecticut? They warned that the British were coming. All right, only seven of this ancient Greek playwright's over 120 works have survived in their entirety. Ajax, Antigone, Electra, Oedipus Rex, 
Woman of Trachis, Philoctetes, and Oedipus at Colonus. Reese of Plymouth. Sophocles. Yes. Singer Lizzo studied classical music at the University of Houston and specialized in this instrument. Jacob of Dover. A flute. Yes. She also played the piccolo in the marching band. What 17th century English poet wrote Holy Sonnet 10, more commonly known as Death Be Not Proud? Reese of Plymouth. John Donne. Yes. The International Distress Signal, CQD, was introduced in 1906, only to be replaced in 1908 by this International Distress Signal. Michael of Plymouth. SOS. That's the one. Pago Pago is the capital of this U.S. unincorporated territory in the Pacific Ocean. Reese of Plymouth. Guam. Sorry, no. Christian of Dover. American Samoa. That's the one. Mount Shadowfax, Mount Gandalf, and Mount Aragorn in the Cadwallader Range in British Columbia are named for characters found in works by this author. Reese of Plymouth. Tolkien. He's the one. This artist is best known for his paintings and sculptures portraying the Old West, including an original cast of his sculpture, The Bronco Buster, that has been in the Oval Office of the White House since the Carter administration. Reese of Plymouth. Remington. Yes. Kirsten Gillibrand is the second woman to serve as a U.S. Senator from New York. Who was the first? Reese again. Hillary Clinton. Yes. What Scottish novelist wrote Treasure Island, Kidnapped, and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Reese. Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson is correct. For the next question, teams, go ahead and take a look at your monitor for our friends from Greg in the Morning Buzz. Hi, everybody. We're Greg in the Morning Buzz. And remember, this answer includes the word buzz. Kayla? In parts of North America, the turkey vulture is called by this name. Jacob of Dover. Buzzard. Yeah, you got it. The adams onis Treaty of 1819 between the U.S. and Spain ceded what is now this state to the U.S. Reese of Plymouth. Florida. Yes. Singer Kelly Clarkson was the first winner on this reality TV show. Rihanna of Plymouth. American Idol. That's it. In addition to being a beloved children's author and creator of the animal characters Squirrel Nutkin, Benjamin Bunny, and Jemima Puddle Duck, this woman was also an award-winning breeder of Herdwick sheep. Reese of Plymouth. Margaret Wise Brown. Sorry, nope. And that author and sheep breeder is Beatrix Potter. Blinded by an accident when he was three, this French educator developed a system of reading for the blind while he was a student at France's Royal Institute for Blind Youth. Rihanna of Plymouth. Braille. Yes. This Dutch philosopher, sometimes known as the Prince of the Humanists, wrote On Free Will in Praise of Folly and On Civility in Children. Michael of Plymouth. Erasmus. Yes. This future president led the American troops and defeated the British in the Battle of New Orleans on January 8, 1815, in the War of 1812. Rihanna of Plymouth. Jackson. Jackson is correct, and of course, the war was already over, but they had the battle anyway. The 1946 musical Annie Get Your Gun is a fictionalized telling of this sharpshooter's life. Jacob of Dover. Annie Oakley? Yes. Traditionally, this Midwestern state holds caucuses before New Hampshire holds its presidential primary. Jacob of Dover. Iowa. Yes. How many liquid pints are there in a liquid gallon? Reese of Plymouth. Eight. Yes, correct. About a minute to go in the round. This character in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy traveled through space in his bathrobe. Rihanna of Plymouth. Arthur. Sorry. It's Arthur Dent. Needed both names. All right, teams, for the next question, go ahead and take a look at your monitors for the Unitil power question. And this question is worth double the points, so this is a 20-point toss-up question. Take a look. Before he played Mr. Spock, this actor played Martian invader Nereb in the 1952 movie serial, Zombies of the Stratosphere. Michael of Plymouth. Leonard Nimoy. He's the one, yes. Teams, John Jay was the first Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. 
Who is the current Chief Justice? Reese of Plymouth. John Roberts. John Roberts is correct. In November of 2014, we'll get to that question maybe a little bit later, but after one round, it looks like Plymouth is taking a lead by a score of 160 to 50 over Dover. All right, teams, good job in round one. We're going to roll right into round two. In round two, we continue with our toss-up questions. However, uh, they are now 20-point toss-up questions. So each question is worth double the points in the previous round. Dover, Plymouth, hope you're ready. Here we go. In November of 2014, 10 years after it left Earth on the Rosetta spacecraft, the European Space Agency's robotic probe Filet became the first space lander to do this. Reese of Plymouth. Land on a comet. Land on a comet is correct. Mozart wrote a concerto in B flat major for this double reed woodwind instrument that is also heard in the introduction to the song The Tears of a Clown by Smokey Robinson. Reese of Plymouth. Bassoon. Bassoon, yes. Teams, in which state will you find these cities and towns? Murfreesboro, Chattanooga, Clarksville, and Pigeon Forge. Christian of Dover. Tennessee. Tennessee, yes. Although he never set foot in what is now New Hampshire, in 1629 this man named it the province of New Hampshire and was its first proprietor. Reese of Plymouth. Mason. Captain John Mason's correct. This author and Dartmouth College graduate wrote children's books and during World War II was put in command of the animation department of the first motion picture unit of the United States Army Air Forces. Will of Dover. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss, you got it. In 1924, Ramsay MacDonald became the first Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from this party. Reese of Plymouth. Labor. Labor's correct. This musician had two huge hits in 1984 with the songs When Doves Cry and Let's Go Crazy. Jacob of Dover. Prince. Yes. In Martin Scorsese's 2006 film, The Departed, the character Frank Costello, played by Jack Nicholson, is based on this Massachusetts mobster and leader of the Winter Hill Gang. Will of Dover. Whitey Bulger. Yes. All right, teams, go ahead and take a look at your monitors for the next question. This portrait by American artist John Trumbrell depicts the founder of the Bank of New York, the first national bank in the United States. Michael of Plymouth. Alexander Hamilton. He's the one. Using someone's writing and not citing or crediting it is plagiarism. Spell plagiarism. Christian of Dover. E-L-A-G-A-R-I-S-M. Sorry, no. Sorry, Will can't ring in. No one on Plymouth wants to give it a shot. It's P-L-A-G-I-A-R-I-S-M. All right, teams, John Adams famously said, without the pen of the author of Common Sense, the sword of Washington would have been raised in vain. Who was the author of Common Sense? Jacob of Dover. Payne. Thomas Paine, yes. This Canadian actor and musician starred as basketball star, basketball star Jimmy Brooks in the 100th episode of the teen drama Degrassi, The Next Generation. Michael of Plymouth. Drake. Yes. Merida is the main character in this animated movie about the intrepid daughter of a Scottish king. Rihanna of Plymouth. Brave. Yes. These New World mammals, who have a leathery outer armor made of scales called scoots, originated in South America but are now found as far north as Nebraska and Indiana and as far east as North Carolina and Florida. Michael of Plymouth. The Armadillo. The Armadillo is right. This country music star has had chart-topping hits with songs like You Had Me From Hello, When the Sun Goes Down, and The Good Stuff. Will of Dover. Willie Nelson. Sorry, no. Michael of Plymouth. Shania Twain. Nope. Uh, right genre, Kenny Chesney. All right, teams, you may need pen and paper for this question. What is the area of a rectangle with a length of 123 feet and a width of 45 feet. Oh, 
not enough time to do the, the multiplications. 5,535 feet for the folks playing along at home. All right. The conflict between these two groups in Central Africa, primarily in Rwanda and Burundi, has led to the deaths of as many as one million people. Christian of Dover. Voodoo's and Tootsies. Yes, correct. This could be a vessel to hold water or a defensive player in baseball. Reese of Plymouth. Jug. Sorry, nope. Dover. Will. Pitcher. The pitcher is correct. All right, teams, that sound is the buzzer that ends round two. And after two rounds, Plymouth holding on to their lead by a score of 320 to 190. All right, teams, as we go into round three, I would like to invite the alternates to go ahead and join their teams at the podiums as we go into our 60-second round. In the 60-second round, each team is given a category with 10 questions. We'll give them 10 points for each correct question and an additional 10 points if they get all 10 correct for a total of 110 possible points. We'll start with Dover as the team trailing. And Ryan, you're the team captain. You can talk to your team, and you can choose from the following three categories. One and done. It's a date and every which way. Every which way? Every which way it is. And Ryan, I will take your answer as a team answer, but you can talk to your team. And if you want to move to the next question, just say pass. All right. For this category, every which way, identify the following witches or wizards. 60 seconds. Start the clock. He is the bearded leader of the Fellowship of the Ring. Gandalf? Yes. He didn't know he was a wizard until he was 11 years old. Harry Potter. Yes, this witch lives with her maiden aunts, Hilda and Zelda. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yes, he is great and powerful and is the man behind the curtain, revealed uh, by Toto. Oh, it's Oz. Oz. Wizard Oz. Yes. She is the main witch in Roald Dahl's novel, The Witches. Pass. It's the Grand High Witch. She Great. is Glinda's friend in the musical Wicked. Alphaba. Yes, he is a wizard in Arthurian legend. Merlin. Yes. He is the Grand Vizier of Agrabah in the Disney movie Aladdin. Shafar. Yes. The professor at Hogwarts was in love with Harry's mother, Lily. Snape. Yes. She was a housewife and a witch in the TV series Bewitched. Pass. Pass. Eight. Eight out of ten on your 60-second round. Great job, Dover. We're now going to turn our attention over to Plymouth. And, Reese, you can talk to your team, but you can choose from one and done or it's a date. Uh, one and done. One and done. All right, Reese, you can talk to your team. I will take your answer as a team answer. And if you need to pass, just say pass. For this category, the answers to the following will include the word one. 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Here we go. Movie featuring Cruella de Vil. 101 Dalmatians. Yes. Ken Kesey novel set in, psych in a psychiatric hospital. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yes. This English and Irish boy band had a hit with What Makes You Beautiful. One, one, direction. one Direction. Yes. John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John sang this song in a fun house in Greece. You're the one I want. You're the one I want. Uh, judges, think about that. 2016 Star Wars movie. Uh, uh, Rogue One. Rogue One. Yes. Rapper Lawrence Chris Parker is better known by this stage name. Pass. Is KRS-1, 2018 film directed by Steven Spielberg about the virtual reality universe Oasis. Ready Player One. Yes. Place you might return to after a failure. Square, Square One. Yes. Term for a musician or group with only a single hit. One Hit Wonder. Yes. Song that describes a Dr. Seuss character as cuddly as a cactus. Mean one, Mr. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch is correct. Nine out of ten on your 60-second round. All right. Great job, teams. Thank you, alternates. You can go ahead and resume your seats. And Dover and Plymouth, things stayed about the same after round three, so we're going to go right into round four, where we continue with our 20-point toss-up questions. However, in round four, we will be deducting 20 points for any incorrect responses, so a lot can change in this round. Dover, Plymouth, here we go. Good luck. Judge Kennesaw Mountain Landis became the first commissioner of baseball in 1920 a position he held until his death in 1944. The position was created to handle the fallout from this major scandal. Will of Dover. The Black, the Black Sox scandal. That's the one. This landscape photographer is best known for his black and white images of the West, including Moon Over Half Dome and Clearing Winter Storm at Yosemite National Park, California. Rihanna of Plymouth. Ansel Adams. Yes. 
In which article of the U.S. Constitution will you find the language that has been used to call for a State of the Union address to Congress? Reese of Plymouth. Article 1. Sorry, no. Uh. Jacob of Dover. Article 2. Article 2 is the one. With four Best Actress awards, this woman holds the record for the most Best Actor or Actress Oscars. Her last Oscar was for her work in On Golden Pond, which was filmed right here in New Hampshire. Michael of Plymouth. Meryl Streep. Sorry, no. Uh. Ryan of Dover. Catherine Hepburn. She's the one. Yes. This elite unit of Roman soldiers that protected the emperor was disbanded by Constantine the Great in the year 312. Christian of Dover. Praetorian Guard. Yes. This musician from Lubbock, Texas, who died in a plane crash in 1959 when he was only 22, had hits with the songs Peggy Sue, Oh Boy, and Rave On. Christian of Dover. Buddy Holly. Yes. An image of this potential breakfast food, or bird, set the world record for the most liked Instagram post, beating a post, beating a photo, uh, beating a photo, excuse me, posted by Kylie Jenner of her daughter. Jacob of Dover. Egg. It was an egg. In 1585, Sir Walter Raleigh, Raleigh established the first English colony on Roanoke Island in what is now this state. Reese of Plymouth. Virginia. Sorry, no. <laughs> Christian of Dover. North Carolina. North Carolina is correct. In ancient times, this form of poetry was usually sung and was accompanied by a leer. Ryan of Dover. Soliloquy. Sorry, nope. Reese of Plymouth. Epic poetry. Nope, no harm, no foul. It's lyric poetry. Every five years, an international piano competition named for this Polish composer and pianist is held in Warsaw, Poland. Reese of Plymouth. Chopin. Yes. This astronomer used the term billions upon billions, not billions and billions, to describe the number of stars in the universe in his 1980s series Cosmos. Reese of Plymouth. Carl Sagan. Yes. In 1638, the Swedish colony New Sweden was established in what is now this state. Michael of Plymouth. Delaware. Yes. Brothers Malcolm and Angus Young founded this Australian rock band with an electric name in 1973. Will of Dover. ACDC. Yes. How many meters are in 5.1 kilometers? Reese of Plymouth. 5,100. Yes. This neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York is known for its beach, boardwalk, and amusement park rides, including the historic wooden roller coaster, the Cyclone. Michael of Plymouth. Coney Island. Yes. What words will you find on the flag designed by Christopher Gadsden in 1775? Jacob of Dover. Don't tread on me. That's, that's it. This former One Direction singer had his first solo hit in 2017 with the song Sign of the Times. Will of Dover. Harry Styles. Yes. This is the only state in the U.S. with a unicameral legislature. Will of Dover. New Hampshire. Sorry, nope. <laughs> It's Nebraska. The true story of Lieutenant Fletcher Christian seizing control of then and then setting adrift Captain William Bly, along with 18 of his supporters in the South Pacific, was made into this 1935 movie starring Clark Gable and Charles Lawton. And that tale and movie is Mutiny on the Bounty. Gavin Newsom, Jerry Brown, and Gray Davis have all served as governors of this state. Jacob of Dover. California. Yes. About a minute left to go in the round. Nazi leaders, including Hermann Goring, were tried in a series of military tribunals in this German city. Christian of Dover. The Nuremberg trials. Yes. This Italian man, who has been called the father of modern physics, science, observational astronomy, and the scientific method, was sentenced to house arrest in 1633 for promoting heliocentrism, where he stayed until his death in 1642. Michael of Plymouth. Galileo. Yes. This author's novels, The Call of the Wild and White Fang, are both set during the Klondike Gold Rush. Reese of Plymouth. Jack London. Yes. Uh, skip number 66, go to 67. British cartographer and engraver John Salisbury is credited with commercializing this type of puzzle made up of interlocking pieces in the mid-1700s. Jacob of Dover. Jigsaw? Yes. Uh, skip 68, go to 69. This could be a collection of maps, a Greek titan, or the surname of a famous bodybuilder. Reese of Plymouth. Atlas. Yes, that is the correct response. And what 
a game. Dover in Plymouth. My goodness. Wow. For the folks at home, I really hope you enjoyed that match. I know I did. My heart is racing. Dover, what a great match. You guys took it to Plymouth in such a great way. Uh, really appreciate your hard work. That's a tough loss, loss, but you guys did fantastic. Plymouth, we will see you in a few weeks as you move on to the semifinal round. And for the folks at home, I hope you had a lot of fun. I certainly had a lot of fun here today. Uh, and we do hope you join us next week when the Hanover Marauders take on the Manchester Little Green. That's about it for us here this week. I learned a lot this week, and I hope you did too. We'll see you next week. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire. Safety Insurance. New Hampshire Lottery. Heinemann Publishing. Cognia. HRCU. Manchester Community College and viewers like you. Thank you.